Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the World of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online, and today we are Minty Fresh, the pink lady from the United States of America. We're going to be hopping into the classic Risk map with capitals on, with some blizzards and some fog. We'll see what the board looks like. People seem to love watching these settings, so I'm going to try to get a good game on them now. As we, What do we have for blizzards? We've got Quebec, Northwest Territories. Don't do very much, except make North America a little bit more choky. I've got absolutely no material on the left side of the board. I do have the Middle East position for a capital choice. I also have Siam, which, cool. Siam's good if I want to hold Australia later. Green didn't go Indonesia, so me taking Siam is more likely I could take this. Or card block whoever comes in behind me. But also, the Middle East territory is very good in the later game. Very hard to card block. Uh, purple and black going to go here, maybe. Uh, anything could happen. I actually really like Middle East more than this. So I am going to go to the Middle East so I have access to, let's say, the Fiesta that happens on the left side. The Fiesta Dogtown. You guys might think I'm crazy for not going for Australia, but I don't think I should. So the settings we're playing. Capital Conquest, progressive cards on the classic map. We've got Fog and Blizzards on with no alliances and no portals. So these are generally the settings we usually play when we are playing progressive capitals. You do want fog, so you can take advantage of the, the lack of knowledge the opponents have, where I have a pretty decent understanding of how to read what's happening in the fog. Obviously, it's not perfect knowledge, but have it, it increases the knowledge gap I have over my opponents while we're playing. And then the blizzards always make the map choky and interesting and fun. Especially when you get crazy blizzards like a Greenland and a Ukraine together or something like that. Then lots of crazy stuff can happen. Purple goes for China. He's looking like he wants that Australia hold. Nobody capped down here? Okay, so if I was last to cap, I would have went to Cyan. Because what is this? I was expecting blue or yellow to cap back here. Maybe not yellow, but like at least blue. I, I thought there was going to be a cap behind me. Let's be real. Even though green didn't, I thought there was going to be. <laughs> Alright, so... We only see three capitals. The other three must be over here somewhere. Unless somebody's in the Congo or Madagascar and just really not playing well. Because capping down here would be suicide. Okay, green player, what are you doing? We'll take a card. My turn. What do I do? Stack my capital. I'm going to take a card here. And bring my threes together. Make a five. I'm just going to try to get all my troops together, get big on my cap. At the same time, maybe try to gain some knowledge. Maybe I should have stacked the five in Kamchatka and tried to move into North America to take a look. Although, if there's a capital in Alberta, I will be trapped, and that will be the end of my knowledge gaining for that direction. But that would be knowledge in itself, in and of itself. So we know yellow is here. He's probably going to start knocking out Africa. No, he's going to play a little smarter. Stack his cap, make use of his troops somewhere else. So yellow is a threat, huh? JJ from the United States. Interesting. So our opponents, by the way, we have Just Mark from Netherlands. I am Minty Fresh from the United States. We got General Quatch, 18585 from Switzerland. Wait, Black's placing like a bot? No, okay. Uh, we got JJ from the United States, whoever that is. And Lilia Pinky from Sweden. And then we got Nia the Bold from Unspecified Location. So there is a JJ. There's a bunch of JJs, right? There's JJ Bra, who changes his name a bunch, and he's on the leaderboard. Uh, he rocks a Portugal flag, though. And I don't think he'd be joining my lobby on a Sunday. He doesn't play on Sundays. There is another JJ who has been previous rank one and is in near the top of the leaderboard. But he's JJ with no spaces, and he's from Germany. So that's why I started this game with this JJ, because I think this is... I, I'm pretty confident this is a different JJ than both of those ones. Interestingly enough. So green's rolling. We're on the second set of turns. We'll see if anybody starts. So the first set of turns, a couple people do get extra troops. But on the second set of turns, we will see if anybody does. So I'm going to start moving over with this five. Or do, what do I do? I'm going to go this way. I kind of want to see what's going on in North America. Okay. And then I'll bring this back. We'll back out of Egypt. Stack my capital. I just, I want to see what's going on in North America. Maybe Green adds his five troops in Alberta next turn and smacks my Alaska stack because he wants North America. But I really do want to see what's going on in here. Nobody is even thinking about Australia, which is funny. Blue's rolling now. So 
blue with these two twos, I kind of want to go in and look in Europe. Right now, uh, the priority for me right now is get strong on my capital and gain the knowledge I can of what's going on on the board, right? I know where yellow is. I kind of have an idea of his game plan. I know where purple is. I kind of have an idea of his game plan. I'm guessing blue wants Europe and he's in here. And I'm thinking green's in North America doing stuff here. So what would that leave? Is that just, who, who am I missing? Blue, green, pink, yellow. That's just black. Maybe black's in South America? I don't know. Yellow looks like he's trying to do a little bit of a reach around sweep over to his capital with whatever stack he has here. Oh, he's going up. Got to keep in mind, are we all starting with... Blue started with seven. Okay. So blue is the one with South America. Blue's not in Europe. Blue took South America on the first turn. Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. Unless, yeah. Blue took C Central America or South America because everybody else is still getting five. Everybody else has their capital. So he's got this plus two bonus. Something you recognize. So blue could very likely be in Brazil or Venezuela. And he's got this bonus. I think Brazil because that was... I think yellow would probably break him if he had a cat behind. So we can process of elimination guess blue's caps here. Green is going to six on three that because he does want North America. Why are you so annoying? I just want knowledge, bro. I, I thought about bringing my five in there so he couldn't do that. Because I don't want a six on three and back, but I want more knowledge. You're a pain. You are a pain. Leave this five here for now. I can bring this four in. That's actually not too bad. Let's bring this four into my capital. Get strong there. What do we got for cards? Double dudes and an artillery. Rocking out with the send dude shirt today. I have received a lot of questions about when the merch is coming back. Uh, when you can get your big boy slapper shirts and mouse pads and stickers and kilted coasters and whatever. The send dude stuff, all that stuff. I'm hoping to bring it back in the new year, January or February. I might even be able to get a couple more designs for that stuff. Would be ideal. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to try. No promises, but that is my goal. I was trying to... Uh... Sorry. Got distracted. My brain went off. My brain's always in 30 places at once. Uh, so what's black doing? Just got to keep an eye on. Five, five, five. Blue still got seven. So blue has South America. And is blue trying to hold Europe as well? Like... I, I kind of want to just take my cap for a little bit of a... What is this? Seven stack. Kind of want to take my capital for a little walk and just see what's going on in North America. I also want to see if... Does green get 10? Purple breaks? That's my boy. Screw you, green. He wants to go for a walk and see what's going on in here too. Does he stay in there? I hope he stays in there. Because then I want to come up and then stack here. And keep him trapped in there. And then when green comes back into him, I'm going to go in next turn. Green doesn't get the 10. Taste it, Mark. Are you going to quit? Are you a whiny baby? No, he's not. Okay, he's going to stick it out and keep playing. Good. <laughs> Some people, you break their bonus one time, they're like, I don't get to hold my bonus. He smacks my three, doggy. All right, all right. I don't like you, Mark. That's it. You keep treating me like that. I'm going to go back to calling your country sideways, France. That's it. Um... Just on the very tiny chance that Blue has Europe for some reason, which he shouldn't. Okay. I'm just going to go looking. Now's my opportunity to go for a little bit of a peek. Okay, there's a green four here. I kind of want to see more. We'll chill. We'll chill. Uh, blue gets seven again. Yep. I mean, if I hit this blue five... Blue's got a spot in, in Australia, but other than this Australian spot, I think it was yellow and eastern. Blue's in Western Australia. So other than his Western Australia and this, he's only over here. So we could, theoretically, trap Blue behind Green later. So when Green's trying to hold this North America, Blue's just like, no. Unless Green is capped in Central America, because then Blue would actually be card blocked between Yellow's cap and Green's cap. So that would, like, blue is very vulnerable if that's the case. Is he going to hit the blue for him? No. Very tempting. So, I didn't actually see how many attacks green did on his turn. But I think purple had enough of a stack in here that green didn't get to take it back. Black takes a card here and he chills. Okay. Seems to be a rather 
friendly-ish group of folks for now. What's Perp gonna do? Adds here, he's gonna go in this way. He rolled it. Oh, and a three on one, he got through. You could see the three, he had a two attacking dice, right? Means it's three on one, and he won with the three on one, now he's rolling a one on one. He got into green, so is green quitting now? Do I card skip? Interesting enough, I could probably get away with it. I bet blue takes a card. Green's going to take a card. I can pretend to attack. See, like, watch what happens at the end of the turn. You'll see green get his card, right? Watch. He attacks. And my animation when I pretend to take an attack and then card skip is different, right? Fortify. Hurry up with your fortify. I'm trying to educate. Oh, we didn't. Never mind, there's no card animation. Dude, do I even know how to play this game? So anyways, maybe it's because of the fog. And now I'm going to pretend to attack again. And then I'm going to card skip. Blue's probably going to take a card now, which is wonderful. And then I will get the biggest card traits, right? Unless yellow skips too. Yellow may skip. He saw me, what I was doing. Yellow and black both saw what I was doing. But like if green, yeah, there's the rest of blue. Oh my god, he's going to try to take Australia. You're such a greedy, greedy boy, doggy. So I think yellow's still in the corner here, though. Because he lost enough going this way. I think my next card is just to make sure he doesn't have this, though. And then back out to Cyan with a stack, because I'm ready for blue to retake this and guard, and then I want to knock him out. I, my goal is to trap blue behind yellow and green. Green's not a bot, right? I am expecting green to bot is my... That's where I'm reading the game right now. Green's never going to get to hold North America. At some point, we're going to trap blue behind him and he's going to hate it. And I think he'll quit, right? A lot of people do that. I'm hoping to be wrong. I'd like to play a six-player game where I kill everybody before they quit. But that is part of the game of Capitals or any online game nowadays is a lot of people, if they're losing, they just quit. I love the game Monopoly, but you think I could play it online? You play like a four or six or eight player game of Monopoly, it can take two hours to lose a game when you already know you're going to lose. and or, or there's a very slight chance of coming back to win, so you're like, I'll just leave. And then you end up in a game with a bunch of bots. It's just not fun. Nobody wants to sit in there and hang in there when they're losing to try to win, even if the odds are against them, right? Like if the odds are enough against them, they're just like, nah, not even going to bother. I just want to win. I want to win for free or not at all. Uh, Lelia Pinky wasting so much time. My card skip is successful. I like to do it sometimes on classic capitals, depending on my, uh, my read on my opponent's skill levels and who's going to attack and stuff, right? I had a feeling that blue was going to attack and I knew green would already take a card. So if those two have already not card skipped, realistically, it kind of makes sense for everybody to just keep taking cards and not worry about it, right? Like, if you're third in the turn order or fourth in the turn, turn order, there's not really value skipping to be last. It's a, it's almost more harmful than good and probably is more harmful. But first or second, eh. Okay, green. Um, be here. Okay, he is here. Good. Did he get his 10? Oh, he didn't get the bumps. Dude, why don't you have the bonus? Maybe Black's even looking to come in and hit him now. He's trying to take this North America. I will get it if it's the last thing I do. Do I have a plus two somewhere? I have Siberia. Eh. I'm going to stack and sign. I like that Black's lining up to go in and break green anyways. I'm not going to emote. We'll chill. I could come off my five and make a 10 and come through, but we're just going to leave it. I'll let other people seem content to bother him. I'm going to come over here and just mess with blue. Okay. And then I'm going to back off. Cool. Western Europe. So I have no plus twos. I can triple dude trade, though. And then I keep the cavalry and the artillery. I wonder why I'm getting all the dude cards. I can't imagine any reason why that would be the case. But it's in progressive, so it's not that big of a deal. Getting lots of dude cards is good. It means you always have a trade. Blue's trading and he's going for the Ram Dingle. And he's not rolling here or here. So he's coming into green. 
By the way, I wasn't, uh, I missed it, but somebody has two camps. Was that two a second ago, or did blue just take green's camp? Or did green take blue's camp? No. Did green quit now? Not yet. Okay. Interesting. Depends how they quit, right? If they click the cogwheel, click the surrender flag, and quit back to lobby to play another game, then it takes 60 seconds for the bot to take over for them. Whereas if they just hit Alt F4, or if they're on their phone and they just close the app, that's where it takes the 60 seconds. The bot, the, it starts to turn, and then, and then the game's looking for them, and it takes the 60 seconds for the bot to take over. But uh, this is this is if somebody bots immediately. So he didn't bot immediately, but uh, he may still have quit. We'll see. I, I wish I was paying a little bit more attention to who's got the two caps. I guess I could check. Black's getting five. Yellow's getting five. Blue's getting seven. Green started with his cap. So it had to be blue. It had to be. It, it only makes sense that blue took green's cap there. And green wasted so many troops trying to take this bonus. His cap must have been incredibly weak. And blue's been getting seven, 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 seven. It just makes sense. Really want to knock blue out of this corner and then fortify back to capital. I think purple breaks me if I do it. But I would love to knock blue out from... Especially if blue has a second cap in North America. Oh, man. I also kind of want to be lined up on killing green. Oh. Lost only four. So that's six attacking troops and he lost four. So he, he did succeed killing whatever snack was there. Green trades on three and does the ram dingle. We go back to one out of six. Or we wait 45 seconds for his turn to end. Oh, he didn't bot. Switch to attack mode. He's here. Lovely. Okay. I think killing green is real. The, the problem with trying to kill green, yellow has never knocked out Madagascar, South Africa, or Congo. So I have absolutely no ability to go for kills if I don't know who's down here. That is, uh, that's the thing. Yellow's playing well, man. Pain in my rear. Let's go in here and just make sure how much blue is in here. Okay, we'll just hit him up. Yeah. And go back to my capital. I want blue not to be down here. Essentially, I won't get to hold this. I think purple breaks me, but I don't really care. I just, I, I don't want blue and yellow in here. I don't want anybody in here behind me. Blue's coming over to break me now. No, he's not. Okay. I'm like, I, I kind of want to knock him. Did he get nine? He did. Blue got nine. So he did take green's camp. Green started with three, right? Yeah. So there we go. The proof is in the pudding. Only me and purple know about green and Japan right now. Should I have went for the green kill? I traded. I could have went off this five, popped the two, and came through whatever small stack of purple was here. No, I can't, because I don't know what's in Africa, man. I literally can't. What if yellow fails the kill? In Africa, and then green stuck on Japan or something. Like, if... if oh, man. This, this blizzard in East Africa... Just, like, destroying me from checking all these spots down here. Tough. He's gonna break me? I didn't clean that out so you could take it, you bitch. Alright, Nia the Bold. I didn't... You know what? You can have it. I just kill you? I can't kill him. I don't know what's in Africa. Mmm, that's such a pain, man. No, good. Now I can come down. Wait, is that all green head? Imagine that was all green head. No, he added three troops somewhere else. So that's not all yet. So I will open this. I'm going to take that. Wait. Is green killable?
No. Okay, purple. Purple trades, he's probably going to hit that capital back. Problem is my 30 can't get to him. I have a trade. I, oh, I, it can. I can go through the blue five. If purple trades gets... Uh, purple doesn't trade, though, I kill him. If purple doesn't trade, I kill him. 100%. What's blue do? So, green did cap in Central America. Green, blue was so screwed if he didn't get this cap off of green. Because he, he would have been stuck between yellow's cap and green's cap. But now that he got this, he's fine. But green's going to trade. If green doesn't die right now, he's going to trade. They're going to try for his kill. I could have tried for it, but I, I there's just... He's got to be in here. I don't know. Blue doesn't know he's in Japan. Oh my god, that's so open and only I know about it. Like, I want to kill Pearl. I just... I don't know what's in here. Yellow stopping everything. Everybody with a JJ name. Can I kill blue? No, he's probably got a 40 cap here, right? Yellow rolled in here. We don't know what's down here, dude. So rough. So I can't kill blue. I'm hoping purple doesn't trade. Because I will try to kill purple. I'll just straight try. Why are you hitting my three? Bro, green wasn't down here unless black saw him down. Unless black's also in here and he got it. That's a well played. That's a double trade. That's a straight up a lot of troops for the black player. Which we haven't ever seen black's capital. Have we? Well, it's this one now. Damn. Where is Black's capital? We checked Europe. It wasn't in here, right? So purple, me, yellow, blue, green. Is Black's cap in here? Did Black have like a South Africa or his Congo cap with green behind him maybe or something? Is he going to try to take it back or is he going to... He's going to come into me. Purple also traded, huh? So I can't kill anybody right now. If he suicides me, it doesn't do anything. He's going to go looking. I could take this cap off blue, but yellow is about to trade... The thing is, if I trade now, if I don't trade now, I'm at risk of dying. Okay, does he hit this blue eight? He's going to take a capital back, right? Do it. I hope he takes the blue eight. He's definitely hitting it. Yeah, yeah. Goes right in there. So purple and blue are going to fight. Purple may get fed to me in a couple turns. He fortified out. Okay. I'm going to trade so I stay strong. I think that's incredibly important at this at this phase of the game. you purple i'm the australian player black's gonna break it but i don't care the most important thing like i didn't want to trade before them but i i had to if i sit with just a 30 cap and they're trading for 40s and stuff when they already have a four like yellow would just kill me right so i have to just remain strong currently and see how he plays out i don't black's other cap has to be behind yellow which if it is i'm surprised he didn't double trade and then just kill yellow for his five right he had a double trade he could have came out and just killed yellow and, like, am I missing something? Because I came through North America. I have seen Greenland wasn't a cap. Iceland. I've, I've come right through Europe. So there's no cap in Europe. There's no cap in North America. Blue's held this with his one cap. No cap here. There's no cap up here. I've checked all this, right? Yeah, so Black's... One, two, three, four, five. Black's cap has to be in, in the bottom of Africa, which is terrible. Which means if he loses this, he's card blocked. Uh, I should be paying attention to like rolls and stuff. I'm just trying, I was trying to figure out what's going on exactly. Yellow's rolling multiple times. So I think he's going up this way. There's only two rolls, three. I also need to see what people are starting with. Four, five, he's taking Europe. He's going looking. Do a fist bump, he's going up here. Okay, so yellow's just looking. I started with five. Blue started with his seven still. I got five. Purple started with five. 
Okay, so purple's all in on the Central America cap now. So purple gets a third card, I get a third card. Purple gets a fourth card, I get a fourth card. Purple doesn't trade and I kill him? I Somebody else is going to kill purple first. I'm going to have to do a survival mode here. I can't chain... I, I'm not in a position to chain kills or anything, right? unfortunately. And, and it all came down to, like, I didn't full-on commit for the green kill. Because with my luck, he would have been in here. And maybe he was in here and Black hit here before he took Japan out. I don't know. Black's trading early and rolling a lot. So I have a feeling he came off here and went in. Okay. Purple gets five. So he does have the cap still. I mean, if he didn't, he'd be dead. How weak is he on that cap, though? Is it a 30 or something? I wish I could see, because I could kill him for the three cards. I get a 55 if I kill him. Oh, I get... That's nice. I will hit... Uh, here. Make a 70 cap. I don't believe I have a trade on three. No. Okay. Who's just rolling? No, no rolling. Is he card blocked? Blue's card blocked. And he had to fortify. See, Blue got stuck because when he was so worried about losing Brazil to the North Africa player and then not getting to hold his bonus. But that's a card block. If he didn't care about Brazil and he stayed on Central America with most of his troops, then even if Yellow takes this from him, he's got ways out and cards. He screwed himself here and now he's card blocked. And now Yellow's got to stack this because he's getting ready to kill him. Interesting. All right, I just need to maintain my pathways. So my next card will be Northern Europe, which is pop. Black is rolling, rolling, rolling. Up in North America. Oh, it's coming in through here. Cool. Beautiful. So I get that. Though I think that opens yellow up to all the things that yellow wants to do as well. Purple's got three cards. Does he trade? No trade, and he's attacking once and stopping. Smart. Smart. Get seven again. Just gonna go up here to take a little look see. And then back to my capital. No trade on four. Okay, game. Okay, game. We'll play it hard mode. We'll do it. Okay, blue player, what are you doing? Oh, he suicided yellow. Yellow gets his three cards for free. Just suicides yellow. You did it to yourself, man. Good game. So yellow gets three cards to trade for 55. And he lost, what was it, 37 or 47? I think it was 37, right? No, it wasn't a 69. It was 79, maybe. I think he lost 47, and he's going to get a 60 trade from it. So that works. He's going to get the kill on blue, get this pocket... Now, the question is, does Purple start getting into it with him there? I also think he's got to worry about Black's cap. Probably has a Congo cap, is my guess. If Black has a Madagascar cap, that's hilarious. But like, I think I'm 99% sure Black's cap's behind here, unless I'm missing something absolutely vital. Right? One, two, three, four, five. It has to be. Yeah, he, he doesn't even... Oh, he doesn't even kill him? Wait. Purple's going to kill him. Yellow JJ. Purple's going to kill him. Dude, imagine purple had no trade on four and didn't kill blue and I traded. I could come through kill purple in the kill blue. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Okay, here we go. Purple's going to kill blue. Which means purple won't be killable for me. One... What are you slider in? Two, three. Get him. Bros? <laughs> I'm like, if you don't kill him, what are you waiting for? Okay. I thought, like, is he going the other direction? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Purple's going to get to trade and then be on five cards next turn and trade again. That was a very free gift for him. I don't know why Yellow didn't take that. Like, Yellow saw what he what Blue had here. He should have known exactly, left enough to kill it, and then if that wasn't a kill, then he could have came up to North America looking for the rest. Because we know Blue's not over here. 
I think yellows even came through here once to see. Now purple's going ham. He wants North America now. I'm American. He didn't, maybe. Funny enough, there's a very decent percentage of my viewers that are United States watchers. Like, almost, like, 37% or something. Like, it's actually a lot. 37% of my viewers being North American, or not North American, uh, United States in 81. All right, I have a trade on five. Thankfully, we did get there. Plus two on India. But, like, what can I actually do with it? If I survive, which I should, yellow can't kill me. Um, purple's probably not got a, a way to do it. Black definitely doesn't. So I get to trade. I get to survive, get to trade. I can't kill black because he's trapped behind yellow. I could trap him behind yellow, though. I wonder if black ever gets horn doggy and smacks North Africa. Well, nope. He's going to take Australia from me. He was tired of me getting seven troops a turn, and it's just... He feels like that's his best play. Okay. Well played. Good for you. Purple's getting nine. So purple has the double caps with the bonus. Right? You get three a turn for having under 12 territories. So he gets three, two from a cap, two from a cap, two from a bonus. So three plus six is nine. That's where... So that's our read on him. So he's got less than 12 territories total. He's trading. He's probably going to try to two-point guard North America. Purple seems like the kind of player that might be going for bonuses. You know... After he left this capital completely to take Australia and sit with no capital to guard his Australian bonus. He's going back again. <laughs> he wants Australia again. No way. No, he doesn't. He saw that I didn't have it and he's like, that's good enough. He saw that I didn't have Australia and he's like, that's good enough for me. <laughs> what a dick. He took it. I lost my plus two. He literally came in to take my plus two. I had a plus two on India. That was it. I had the plus two on India, dude. That's so annoying. Whatever. I could think about killing yellow. It's not worth it. I would love to kill him. Um... If I get a trade on... If he does no trade till 5, then I will. But I think he will. Like, Okay, so he's not trading on 3. If he doesn't trade next turn, I will try to kill him. Because I think this is all he's got. This is all of him, right? Because he ate the damage. He literally ate the damage from blue and then didn't kill him for his cards. I Maybe I'd kill him now. Abandon Middle East to hold this. Or Because uh, if I give this up, black makes it out, right? Black's next. If I kill yellow, black's next. Man. Do I let him get one more card instead? What are the traits? 80, man. I could lose 100 and... I could lose 200 troops on a 95 cap. If I lose everything, I die. I like being aggressive, though. I love to be aggressive. Although yellow's not a great player, so keeping him in the game's not bad. Purple, does he get his... He 15 troops to start. This man wants Europe now. I love it. I love to see this. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think I'm going to not trade. And then I'm going to go break Black's Australia. Suck it. If Yellow doesn't trade, I will kill him. He probably trades, but... I'm not going to kill him for a non... Like, trading on three to kill him for four cards and not trade again? I'm done. Okay. I think I've got him. I have to put, put 20 troops here just to go searching. But I think purple's knocked out, like, everything, right? Yellow has to be dead. And, I, like, oh, maybe I can actually get a good cap roll. The last few times I played caps and I'm, like, perfect slidering the caps, I lose, like, almost 2x. Somebody comes by and hits my cap and gets an even roll two seconds later. And I'm like, I, I, we've all experienced it. We have definitely all experienced it. Does purple go for this? Maybe purple fail kills him by hitting this cap, which would be monumental for me. Purple could. No. What's he doing? 
Maybe he wants Australia instead. This guy is a special boy. That's enough to come take Australia. If he's thinking Australia, 21's probably the number he's thinking. No. He's going looking. Oh. He's thinking Australia. No. Because black has it in... No, what is this? That's annoying because I have to hit that. Okay. Yellow dies. I have to make sure. Okay, that's fine. Yellow dies. Please go. Good dice roll. One time. Literally double. Literally just straight up double. I want black to have that because I want black and purple to butt heads. I want to sit here. I have a trade on four if I live. I literally lose double, bro. <laughs> it's so sad. But like, that's why everybody is so unbelievably passive when they play these games. They're such wimpy babies, but that's why it's not consistent at all. If, 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 if capitals consistently you lost 1.2 to like 1.8x and it was arranged like that. But you can lose like 0 0.9 to like 2.1x or something depending on the rolls. And like that's such a range that it's hard to play. Like people don't like taking the chances, right? I like to take the chances because I like to play for fun. But like if you're trying to do the best possible result every time. Hey, do I get to hold Europe? No, he can't. He can't let me hold that. But the five in Japan probably pisses him off too. No, I get to hold Europe and trade. Okie doke. I'm alive, and that's all that matters. Ooh. Okay, we killed yellow, and it doesn't matter that I'm very weak. They can't kill me. That's all that matters. And black and purple are going to be stacking against each other here, and I can get cards. So that's all that matters is I'm alive, and I get cards. And these guys are proximity-wise beside each other, and I'm not. Right, purple's going to come out, and then he'll be beside this black cap. I mean, sure, he breaks Europe, but I'm not going to retake Europe when he breaks it. And then this here. Black might take Brazil. He's slidering. He's going to take Brazil. He doesn't know how to slider very well, but he's doing some weird stuff. Okay. Wait, wait Brazil was empty? He lost zero troops. That's why he was slidering weird. He, purple gave him Brazil. Huh. A gifted Brazil is very interesting to me. Oh. I see. Is the gifted Brazil so they'll trade infinitely in South America and then I just lose? Nope. Apparently not. Huh. What is this? So you split in a 10 10 or something? Sure. And he's going to buff up here? No. Okay. So he gave him the capital, but it wasn't to do that weird trade. Because, like, with a Central America cap and a Brazil cap, if they just trade cards in here infinitely, and then I eventually take the rest of the board. They can trade cards forever, and then I will lose. It's it's, it's a very stupid way to play capitals, because then I can just start card skipping forever, and and it'll still take them a long time till I'm worth killing, or I'll never be worth killing. Right? I could even get to a spot where I zero card, and I just skip forever, and then they eventually have to fight, and I'll never be worth killing. And then after three hours, somebody kills me to take second place. It's just it's horrendous. Yeah, so they're not doing that. Interesting. There, I got knocked out of Japan. Good. Cool. I'm still holding Europe, which is weird. I would love if he took all the territories out of Europe. I just want one card a turn. That's all I care about. Purple's getting 10 a turn. Black's getting 14. I'm getting 12. Weird. Okay. What's the next progression? What's what's the next progression of the game, right? I do lose Europe. Cool. Good. 
perfectly content. Or he's guarding. He hits Japan now. Okay. Do I have a trade on three? No. He actually doesn't break Europe either. I mean, fine. I'm just going to move fast. If we're just trading, I'll, I'll just move fast. You guys show me how to win the game now. You guys show me. I wasted 200 troops to get a 90 trade off yellow. The dumbest thing ever. Would have been nice if I went net neutral on that. I would have tried to guard both capitals probably. Like if I lost, I could have lost like a straight hundred less troops or something. And then I maybe am trying to hold this capital. And then I have ways of like, if I can knock Black out of here, I trap him. He suicides me. I kill him or, or other things like that, right? And like there's openings to other positions. I could also try to card block purple. But if I do, he will start trading with black in here. He buffs these too much. Well, I okay. If he trades and he's card blockable, maybe I go for it. Hmm, because I can hold both these corners. If he has no trade on three. Oh, you broke my bonus. That's rude. Is he, he's attacking other stuff too? That's a single dice? He's signaling. He's signaling. Okay, no, no. He's trying to signal black. I see, I see. He gave black the cap, now he's signaling. Okay. Wait, that doesn't make any sense, though. He brought seven back? Um, let's do this. I'll trade a little early. Make this a 35. Make this a 35. 36. Yep. Twenty-five and a twenty-five. And then stack my capital. Now purple's card blocked if black only sits on this cap. And now I will signal black with a fist bump. I'm trying to card block purple out of the game now, right? Perfectly fine with that. Purple's the guy that stole my Australia, so let's eliminate him. I'm hoping black will trade with me. Yes. Well played, well played. Now purple ha if purple has a trade on three, he's gonna he's gonna make this hurt. And I can't reset it up. But maybe black sees that and he sets it up after. No trade? He'll have a trade. They always do. Just like I lost double on yellow, purple will have the trade on three. No! Please tell me he has no card. Oh, doggy doggy. That's rough. How many troops does he bring up? A lot. Huh, interesting. That's cool. He does open my capital too. If he if he comes through all the way, he will open my capital. 269. Okay, cool. That was a split though. Do I want to see how much he has? Kinda do. But then he can do this without opening me. I want black to go check. Uh, maybe I'll signal him to attack? I don't have the attack signal, actually. <laughs> Dude, if black went in there and went ham, oh my. So this is all purple has. 132 and 249. That's 380. I have 380, basically. Same amount of cards. I'm equal with him. Black has basically 380 with four cards. Like, we're basically all the same. I've caught up now, somehow. Go ham. Come on, doggy. Come get me. Yep. Yep, he's going to open my capital. He's trying to slide her. He doesn't... He's saving himself some cards. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Alright. Make sure I open black. 
Uh, this is good. I think we can kill purple, and then I have to go into the 1v1 with black. Which is fine. Black is bad. Like, black captain Congo after yellow captain North Africa. Yellow capped before black, yellow took North Africa, and then black's like, Congo, please. Terrible cap choice location. So I should try to kill purple, or... And if purple's b before me in, in turn order, right? So if purple suicides me, it's great for me. Man, if I was open and all these stacks were off, like, I would try to kill him right now. 120, I could have a 480 to hit this, this, and this. That would have been a dream. Oh, now black and him are trading in here. Interesting. Is that the case? Because then I, I just take the North Africa cap then, right? Do I take the North Africa cap now? Then I can't be card blocked. It's very... Black's the one that's worse. Well, purple's also not great, though. Purple's not great and black's not great. So what do I do? What's my best chance to win? If they do trade here infinitely, I lose. And it looks like they're trying to. So if that's the case, let's just get a good dice roll. I'm probably not going to get a good dice roll, but you know what? I like to play ballsy. 202 doggy time. Black's going to trade, actually. Do this. That was a... I, I got a good roll. I'm in some trouble, though. Black suicides me. Maybe I should have knocked out this bottom pocket, but I, I wanted to fortify back to Middle East. Maybe he quits. Like, Black has enough in here, though. Like he had 90 troops more than I thought. Yeah, they were about 100 troops ahead of me. But maybe he bots off that? Or maybe he's just thinking, how do I respond properly? He gets a 130. He could make a 220 something. It's not enough to do this. He could make this a 320. It's He can't get a good roll on North Africa. He could take Middle East. He could also take Congo back. It's his OG capital. He's guarding this with 200. I think he's just going to continue to try to live in here. So on my next trade, I have to take Brazil. I just have to end him. And he's giving me cards? Cool. Back to capital. Um, There's always a risk of him trading in behind me, but I think that's okay. I save these cards. Purple's rolling. He's coming looking. He doesn't know everything that just happened. He doesn't know I took Black's capital. Or maybe he does. He would have seen the leader change from 2 to 3. From 3 to 2 to 3. Yeah, he would have. Black was on 3, then I knocked it so we were both 2, and then I went to 3. So he would have seen me take 2 capitals. This is funny. He's, he's doing some card block on me, and I appreciate it, but... That's fine. Like, I have cards. Buff this. If black has a trade on three, I'm going to feel it, though. Although bl black's taking cards and hitting stuff out here, so maybe he doesn't quite understand what purple's aiming for. I actually didn't think black had a big number on this capital. Like a 90? No, oh, he's rolling stuff out here. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. Purple's just expanding out to do some weird card blocking thing. I think I beat Purple in the endgame 1v1. I think I have to kill Black first. Just the way it, it, the board's laid out. Although, pur like, I think Purple's a bigger threat at this point. But I, I think it's the difference between, like, Black being intermediate and Purple being expert. Like, nothing too crazy. Maybe they're slightly better. I, I actually don't know. Maybe Purple's an, a master. Okay. Let me see. I have a trade on four. There's no killing black, right? That'd be hilarious if I could, though. 
I mean, if he went ham and got a terrible roll in the 90 without trading, maybe I could kill him. That would be epic. That would be absolutely epic. <laughs> He's trading. Okay. If he didn't trade and did that. Hmm. He's going to take this 10 cap back? Okay. Cool. That's good. Because that's just wasted troops stuck behind me forever. Like, that is... It's, like... It would be way better for him to have this as a 330 instead. Dude, classic capitals are... are uh, they're frustrating game settings lately. It's a, it's a lot more of a pain trying to, like, end these games. Like, I like to play them in 30 to 40 minutes, right? But every game I play in Classic Capitals is just lasting so much longer lately. It's a pain. Purple's going to trade, but I don't think I'm at risk of really losing anything. So I could trade after him? Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll just trade. Let's play it smarter. Actually, I need to make sure this is big. If I lose the Middle East cap, my cards start getting more difficult. Because this cap, although like I thought I was going to be able to knock Black out of here, but there was no way. I would have been too vulnerable. If I, if I, after taking this cap, also rolled a 90 cap, psh, I can't get two lucky rolls in a row. I was lucky enough getting one. Fucking 457 troops. Black has... What, 560, 570? Yeah. Yeah, he's hitting a bunch of my stuff. This is perfect. I'm getting cards for days. They're not trading in here. Purple's expanding out with a ton of off-cap troops, which is great. Perfectly fine. Hello. He's going to be like, wait, what the hell is this? So he didn't watch this. Purple didn't see the caps change. Now he wants to go look at the board. He doesn't know what's going on on the board anymore. He might not realize Black is here, and he might get into a situation where he tries to kill Black later. Which would be great. Well, I'm not gonna let you hold Europe. Certainly not. Okay, I think Black suicides me, if anything, but I, even if he does, I don't think Purple gets his cards, because he has to go in through this 260. Uh-oh, it's daddy time. Oh, no, he's just knocking me out of Asia. Black is so mad at me, he's just hitting all my territories, which is exactly what I need him to do for me. Thank you. I'm not going to emote, I'm not going to say thanks, I'm not going to signal anything. I want him to think he's getting me. He's getting me real good right now. Really appreciate you, friend. Six a turn for purple. Still hasn't taken North America again. Because he's been trying to expand out in a weird way to uh, card block. But, like, now he sees it's pointless. Black's not trading with him forever the way he wants. He's probably just going to start going back to stack on his capital. Which would be great because maybe he does yoink black at some point. A black yoink would be fun to see. Okay. I think my caps are safe. I have the old trade. They take a fifth card, fifth card. I take a fifth card. Trade, trade, trade. I'm in the biggest position for trades, and trading after them is good. Anything they do after a trade, I can trade and, and retaliate on. Trade, trading second is actually really good for card blocks too, right? They trade, and then you trade and set up the card block, and now they don't have a trade to un-card block. It's really good. Yep. More card taken. This is going to be a grind. I like. I couldn't snowball, couldn't get far ahead, couldn't chain the kills. I should have went for the green and just... I have a feeling green was in here behind Black's capital, and, there, and that's how he got the kill. I can be wrong. <sighs> but it's so hard to go for it when I can't see behind here. People taking 30 seconds a turn. This is a very easy... 
decision making process right now. <laughs> is he trying to signal black in here or is he taking North America? I'm also just uh I'm doing stuff not that black in places black can't see, so black's getting fifteen a turn now. Well, Australia in three camps. That makes sense. <laughs> it's eight on top of his territories. He might even have South America. I don't think so, though. Black wouldn't be too difficult to card block, actually. If we were thinking about it. Especially with him attacking so much. I can split 50 off into Ukraine, or 30 off into Ukraine. And once Black takes all of this, he's blocked, right? I trade with purple in here. He's buffing Brazil. Purple stacking big here. He's buffing Congo. He really cares about his original cap. You need to get over this thing where, like, my original cap is everything. Like, instead of taking this, he could have taken Middle East on me, and then I would have been in a lot of trouble. Then I'm stuck here between Middle East cap, Brazil cap, and, like, Ukraine. You can just easy card block me in that scenario, right? Purple's trading... Send a fist bump to you. Let's card block black. It's very easy to card block. Okay. Do this. Don't know what black's got pointed at me right now. So we'll three thirty this one. Black's here. What? <laughs> what? Like these these two, if, if all of these troops were on one and the other one had like a 50, like imagine there was 200 more troops here. This was a 439 and then he traded. It's a lot more scary than this. A bunch of 0% blitz rolls I don't care about. Black starting with 15 and purple starting with 5. Purple starting with 5. Wait, is black bullying purple now? Like bullying as a as a like hitting him and making sure he doesn't have North America or something? We could very easily be in a 1v1 with purple soon. Which I think I could card block purple. Oh, trading on three. Is the Ram Dingle coming through my 296? He's thinking about it. No, nope, 27. He's just gonna buff all his caps weirdly. And even forget to take a card, which is good. Probably runs out of time to take a card. I would love if purple would hit the 90. Purple's way ahead in troops, right? I, I traded 200 troops for his 230 cap. So, like, we are 200 troops behind purple, and I think I was already behind purple, so. You just gonna do a four on one and chill? Well, since black can already hit Afghanistan, I might as well take a card here and look. I think that's the play. Hmm. Black has no trade. Yeah, we can do that. Do I go looking? Just for fun? Oh. Eight thirty two on a capital. That's scary. I only have six thirty six. He's gonna have over a thousand on the next trade. Wowzers. Black's just hitting pink. Now he's hitting purple too. He just what is he doing? Huh. I'd hope it, I'd love to see purple go up and then come over to the right and actually have to go through the 87 to come out. Oh, that's not happening. Now he's keeping his cap open to come out too. Scary world we're living. He's about to trade and come out. I should probably trade early. I think I will trade early. North Africa. Make this uh, 369. 429. 
812 troops all on capital. What does black have? Three, six, 850. Black has 40 troops more than me. Oh no, he's got 100 off cap, right? So he's got 140. Not a big deal. He's just swinging. Swinging for the fences over here. If purple does know how to card block, we could start working on black. Like, black won't trade with him here, so card blocking me is not going to work. Maybe he just rammed in with me. I don't know. Maybe we taste it right now. He's following the pink road of ones. No, nope, he's going to take this capital. Oh. Plus 590. That's all of purple's troops. That's all of his troops. He's going to fortify back. He has 420, so whatever comes off of a 420. If he runs out of time, to, uh, he's probably going to have two splits of 200 and something. Wow, Black has like an 80 something up here, doesn't he? Oh, 150 here, okay. So I kind of want to let Black out, right? Or no? Not really. Hmm, that was an interesting play. If I'm expecting a potential black suicide, though, what is my... I need to be worried about purple getting his cards after. So this cap is fine to be a lot lower now. I need this to be big. If black double suicide slams me, like if black's done and he rams this into this and double suicide slams me, I need this to be strong enough that purple can't trade and come through it to get black's cards. I need to make sure I get black's cards if he suicides here. Oh God. He's so card blocked in a minute. I cannot believe Purple just lost 590 troops to do that. <laughs> oh my god. So good. Like, we just knocked Black out of the rest of the board, right? On my next trade, I think I knock him out of the rest of the board. Unless Purple does it. Purple might do it. Like, Black has a 90 or something up here. 85 up here. Purple might do it right now. If Purple does it right now, that's great. Say well played. No, he's just going to take a card? Okay. But purple has no trade now. So maybe I can afford to go do it. Does he take this one too? Because that'd be nice. No? A 300. If I lose 100 on this, it's a, a pain, right? Black's only got one card, though. I want black to get a couple more cards before I go uh, gung-ho on him. Let's break Europe. Buff this. Okay. I need Black to get a couple more cards before I make him suicide me. And 0% uh, sliders can do crazy things. Like, I've seen pictures of, like, 500 troops kill 60. Because it's a 0% slider. Where's his stack? How much is it? Where does he move it to? No, it's staying back. Okay. There's also a chance that purple stops. Stops allowing him to get cards. Do I stop him on two cards, or do I let him get a third? Although, if he suicides on two cards, I could always let him get a third in here, maybe? Oh, Purple's going to do it now. Purple's doing it now. That's a 303. If that comes back anything like a 210 or something, it means he hit the 90. He's going to hit this? Which is perfect. That's fine. Because I was going to do that. He doesn't do it. It's going to come back as a 300? Yeah. So he actually didn't do it. Interesting. I'm not going to trade yet. Neither of them can trade, so I don't have to trade yet. I can trade in a moment and figure out what I want to do exactly. There we go. We'll just do that so we get some more vision. I want to see what happens here. Black gets a third card. There's also a chance, like, 
Black's going to get a third card. Purple may still knock him out of here completely. No, nope, he's going to chill with whatever stack up here. So I trade, I come off to 544 and knock out whatever's here. And then if he trades, if he has a trade, I'm crying. Purple's going to chill. Mm. He's knocking black out of everywhere else, but not the big stack, right? Not the big stack. It's only a 100 stack, right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm ready for the suicide slam. If he has a trade, I'm gonna cry. He has no trade. Oh, good. Suicide slam. No, he's got cards in here? Oh yeah, he's getting seven a turn. He's got cards in here. Damn. Purple gave him cards in here. Seven a turn means two caps. It means he doesn't have South America. He'd be getting nine a turn. <clears throat> okay, Purple. Now we fist bump. He's trading with him in here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Purple, you son of a bitch. After all that, knocking black out of up here, you're going to now use that opportunity to trade with him in there. Interesting. Oh. Black no trade. He's gonna trade. If he trades and buffs the 382, shit. Oh, he's buffing this one. He's gonna suicide me. Oh, good. Okay. Purple shouldn't be able to kill me. But he should be able to kill black. It was two 0% rolls. He killed 436 with a 601 with a 0% roll. That's. That's a good dice roll. This is more average. Half. This was a half, and this was a, a really good one. Okay. Oh my god, it's so close to him not getting the kill on him. Is he going to use that to farm? I have a trade, right? No trade on four in the most epic of moments. If he farms the bot there with the giant stack here, I'm crying. I'm literally crying. Please kill it. If he kills it, I have a chance. If he doesn't kill it, I'm screwed. I, like, no trade now is uh, monumentally bad. Unless he forgets to fortify. He doesn't fortify. Twenty six here, huh? He has no trade. Hmm. Okay, we're in a very, very bad 1v1. If I had a trade, I would go through this and get the black kill. Black doesn't get a... Black's still here. He blitzed into him, didn't get a card. He got a card! Wait. Yeah, because that's all he had left. If he doesn't kill black, though, I do get his two cards. He's going to try to hit the 160. He's going to try to cap run. If he, get, if he loses only 50 on this, I will cry. Okay, good. This is a bad roll. He gets a great dice roll. He could actually try to end the game right now, almost. He's going to try. I mean... In, dude, you are way ballsy. 80... Oh, my... He stopped. He's going to let me... Oh, he's bringing enough over to guard it. And he's going to kill... He's going to trade with black. Shit. Now he's going to infinitely trade with black in this pocket. 260. I can't do anything about 260. Oh, I really can't. What a sad... God, just end the game. <laughs> so frustrating. He wants so bad to have this trading pocket. So bad. Jesus.
Black is staying here. Not taking a card. I don't think he had a card available. This guy is so desperate to get it. Like, if he has no trade on four and I can trade off the 261, I will win. I need a trade on four with him having no trade on four. It's the only hope. This guy is... Con he wants his rating points so bad. I just want to play the game. That's why I'm taking ballsy moves, man. Let's have a fun, faster game. That's okay. Win at all costs is also fine. He does knock out South Africa. He's going to give Black a third card. Hmm... If I get a trade here, and he doesn't trade, I don't think I have a trade on four. We lose. Okay. <clears throat> we lose. That was it. That was the only chance. Him having no trade, and then me having a trade, and then I can come through the 261, and kill black, and then win. God. So close. The stupid pocket... I could have knocked Black out of here a year ago. And then I let him come back in and take Congo. He trades on four anyways. Like, I'm being honest. How many troops is that? He could just cap run. I mean, I was setting up to do it, so... He could do it. Gonna take this camp now? That's actually good for me. I'm just going to pretend to be sad. I'm going to pretend that I care about this capital. But I don't. I don't care about that capital. I don't care about that capital at all. That's why I left this as a three, as like a bait. I cannot believe he traded and put everything here. If he doesn't buff this 261, I will trade come through and kill Black into another trade. He's going to give me the game. He's very close to giving me the game right now. He has the win. Due to lots of reasons. <laughs> oh my god. Black actually didn't get a card there. He forgot to give him a card. Like, how many troops does he actually have on the Congo cap? It wasn't a lot. It was like 20-something, right? Was like a 26 left over? If he stops, I can do this. This, okay. I have to, I have to do it now. Good luck. Need some dice, baby. Perfect slider. Close enough. 100%. Yep. Just enough for 100%. Good roll. Good roll. Make sure I got enough there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's an 11. Play better. Oh, dude. Oh my God, if I had to trade on four, I would have done that last turn, but this is fine. I can't cap run, but uh, this is much better. Much, much better. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. What are the trades? 225. So coming into this is not good. You can come off this with a 400. Mm. But he, he wants this pocket more than this, right? But I need this one more. But he wants the pocket. Because mm. he can't bring this through. Which one's more important to buff? Well, he might not trade right now. I don't have a trade on three. Trade on three would be excellent right now. He gets a fourth card. I get a fourth card. He gets a fifth card. I get a fifth card. He trades. I trade set up a card block. I'm in the right spot for turn order for card blocks. Also, we might be equalish in troops. Because he took a ton off this cap to do this. And I got the reward for it. Does he quit? Are you bold? A bold player wouldn't quit. You would learn from this. You had a mistake. Like, you won this game. You made a mistake. He's just going to knock out all my ones. Sure, bud. I mean, sure. Okay, sure. What? 
Dude, Classic Capitals, man. I really want to have a good, solid Classic Capitals game and throw it up on the main channel, but these games are just dragging on. Dragging on these nuts! And then, uh, and that's just how it is, so... These are going to continue to be going on the second channel as long as they're this long. <clears throat> okay, no trade. I can buff both of these capitals in a way. 20 is good. Uh, don't open his cap. I do this. 210. 225 is so many troops. Yeah, 225 plus 9. So that's 225 into a 130 is not great. And then 410, 4, 415, 420, and do a 220. I think that's pretty close to the split I would like. So trying to hit this cap or just coming off here to hit this cap, it's all bad. Maybe he hits the 20 cap, but I don't care if he hits that. That's just good for me. Yeah, and then I wait for him to trade and then I trade after. And then I set up what I want. Okay, 225. Yeah, he's not even going to hit a capital. Good. I, I, so, okay. I will beat him in the 1v1. I'm very confident in that. And we're fine. Oh. Oh, I really only need to keep these two capitals really strong. If he ever rolls this cap, he's card... Like, his South American position is card blocked whether he takes this cap or not. So him hitting this, I want to leave this as a bait so he hits it and probably loses troops. Okay, there it is. Boom. Boom. Positive 22 troops. Just great. And he can have that. And he gets an extra four troops a turn. Not a big deal. <clears throat> the card block still is the same. Oh, he's going to let me card block him. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. What do you got, buddy? That's it? Mm. I actually don't need to trade. Funny enough. Is he going to try to card block me here? This is funny. He doesn't have a trade on two. And he's got nothing in position to do anything to me. So... I'm going to wait. I can't card block him now. I'm going to wait till he sets up. And then I will destroy it. And maybe I can trade without the wild. And then... I can trade and keep the wild. So I can trade on five. I'll be on three cards. And then if I do something that makes him trade on three, I can trade on three with the wild and really put the dagger in and make him quit. I think we're good. Uh-huh. Just going to come up with a 19 then, or what? Because I just block this, right? I block this, and I block here. And then the only cards he has is Australia. And that's only limited. Oh, is he going to back that off? That's nice. Cool. Now, I trade. We'll keep the Middle East plus two. That's what the cap is, right? Yeah. Let's say he has a trade for two... We, we need to buff these, right? If he has a trade, we do need to buff these. 280. This has to be... 240. Can I kill the rest? Make this a 40. And then what, like a... 17. 17. 17. 18. 18. 18? Something like this. What's he get per turn? Three capitals and this bonus. It might be enough. He might be fine. I don't know if he can get through this. 14. Okay, 18s were a good number. If he has no trade, he has to start hitting Australia. Now he's about to realize that I know how to card block, and I'm not just an idiot that smacks stacks for no reason. This is my first card block attempt on this boy. How's he feeling it? You like the feeling? This 187 can't get over here. It's got to go through my cap. 185 trapped. The one's trapped. I can just move the 22 down. Yeah. He's going to take one card and chill. That's okay, because this is, this is a slow move. I can also put 18 here now if he doesn't stack. He makes a 30. He doesn't keep attacking. And now he's going to fortify off. How much? Because I could trade and smack, maybe steal that capital even. 68. That's interesting.
I don't really want to trade. I did make him take Cyan. That is a win, right? So that's the first step into the win. Yes. Start building on Ukraine. He doesn't have lots of troops in here, so. I think we're equalish in troops. So if I'm on 620 and he's on 620, he's got what? Three less than three. 250 here? Maybe he's on this is maybe even only a 200 ish Because he also brought some off. It might even be weaker, honestly. Like this might have been weak enough that I should have traded and came off Middle East to come around and check. But I didn't want to... I'm setting up a card block on him. I don't want to give that up to check. I'd rather come through and check in a moment. Or just keep forcing him to pull troops off. Like this 185, I never... Oh, there is all the troops. You're you're going for the card block, Arena? Cool. 225 is too much. No, I can come through the 225. That's great. Leave it as a 225. No, he backs off to here. He's worried about me hitting the Brazil cap. I will never hit that cap. Not now. Got no intentions. Oh, huh. Okay. So now I trade. Western Australia. Did I make this a 50? Five. Make this 70 something. Make this. 300, do this, like this. 0% slider this. Nice. That's good enough. 0% slider this. Nice. It's fine. Nice. Okay, so he has to. His only card is to take Afghanistan or India, which is exactly what I want. Good luck. Maybe emoting will make him determined to keep playing. That's fine, but maybe it'll also make him rage quit. Uh, he's going to lose. It's up to him to determine how long he wants to make that last. Or, or he can just try to see how long he can last. We'll see. As I said, like when you're in this situation, even if you're going to lose... Like, you can do a couple things. You can give up, and that's perfectly fine. Go next game. But you can also use this opportunity to learn. Right? He's got to figure out what, how, how to win in this scenario going forward if he wants to be a better player. So, might as well. Ride or die, fight me now. Let's go. Cool. Um, yeah, we can... Uh, he's getting what a turn? 22 a turn. What am I missing? Why are you getting 22. You were getting 14 a minute ago. No, I'm getting 22. He's getting 14. Okay, doi. Yo, the world champion doesn't know what the hell he's doing in this world. Sure. Good. So manual there. Make sure this is only a 30 or 25. Because he's going to ram dingo, right? So if he does do a ram dingo, like if he hits Afghanistan, he's probably going to go full Monty. Do I have a trade? Yes, I do. I have a trade. So the second he trades, I'm resetting the card block up and the game's over. Perfect. And I got to save cards for myself. So I can also, because I don't want to open Central America, I can take an Alberta card and split. Then I can take a, an Alaska card and split. Then I come to Kamchatka, right? And then I've got Japan. I've got Yukutsk and uh, Urkutsk. <laughs> I got these cards. I've got cards all for days. Okay, so he's going to, that's it. That's his last card. If he has no trade on four, that's his last card. And if he has a trade on four, he will ram dingo my stacks and I will set them up immediately after. So that should be it for him. I am seeing the writing on the wall from my boy here. Oh, this is a good move. He's fortifying enough troops off. To, so he's actually not a bad player. I like it. 90 though. So this would force me to trade to keep this card block. Hmm. 54 doesn't beat 90. Do I trade early for this? If he has no trade on four, it does end him. And if he trades on four, Ram dingles me. He will sit here with a stack, and then what do I do? 
I know what I do. How do I get a card, though, actually, is the problem, because of this capital. Hmm. Oh, hi. It's not too bad. Fourteen is a fifty on sixty. That's fine. I'll we'll just do that. I, I want him to trade before me, so I'm gonna do this. I also want him to be scared of me trading, taking this forty-four. This cap's a lot weaker than I was expecting. If I knew this cap was that weak, I would have traded and went for it. But now, he, oh, if he doesn't trade, I can take that cap. He's gonna take a card and go back to cap, though. So it will be an eighty, which is fine. <laughs> I take a card there and split. This 15, I also have to slider. Um, yeah. Let's see. We'll do a 9. No, I don't want the 2% to win. The 2% to win is too dangerous. That's good. Pretty good. And what? So he will trade and do stuff, but I will trade and come back again. So trade. I'll do three artillery as well. Venezuela, Quebec, and Cyan. So you might be saying, why did I still do this card block if he's going to trade anyways? It's because I want him, I want wherever he doesn't go, like for him to break the card blocks, he has to break it in one, two, three spots, right? So if he doesn't break all of them, at least the other spots are already set up. So it makes it easier just to keep the card block pressure on. He wastes half his turn before he even trades. He's thinking very hard. Go on for, so it's 260. Oh my God, I'm going to come through. Whatever he leaves off cap is dead. I will just completely do this to you again. He'd have to literally bring off the Brazil cap or the China cap to do something. He's slidering. Lost 20 on the 31. Well, he's running out of time. I'm going to get to hit that. Okay. Triple artillery. Quebec, Venezuela, Siam. Let's see if I get one of these back in a second. Venezuela, Quebec. Let's get good slider. Yeah, that's pretty good. Casey has a trade on three and wants to go gung-ho. And I always have cards, and I did. I got a Ukraine, right? It was Venezuela, Quebec, and Siam, but I got a Ukraine. But it's still an artillery. I have a trade on three. Now, if he trades on three, he's card blocked. If he has a trade on three, I can trade on three again and re-card block him. And then he's on one card and he's done. And if he pulls troops off, because we know he has no trade on three, if he pulls enough troops off, I can trade and blitz those troops. He's going to try a 15 on 26. Or he's going to fortify here from the China cap. Which is great, because if he get, if he screws up the China cap at some point, I will come through and just knock it. He's going to try it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. And if he runs out of time doing this manual roll stuff, he will forget. He won't get a chance to fortify, which just makes it even better for me. Because if he doesn't fortify, I get more cards without having to trade and smack his stack. No, he's going to fortify. Yeah, because he has to fortify. He's not going to get enough. <laughs> yep, he didn't get enough. So 22. I don't have to trade because I can just do this. Six. Slow roll this once. Cool. Now it's a two. Perfect. And now I will bring... This to a 26. Taste it. Now he doesn't have a trade on three and he didn't fortify, so I didn't have to trade. Now when he fortifies, though, I will trade, smack it, and I'll be on two cards. So he's guaranteed missed three cards, which is a full trade now, right? He missed that one. He's not getting one now unless he gets god dice. And even if he fortifies, I'm going to be able to stop him from getting a card again by trading. So that's three turns in a row, three cards missed. 
And that is a lot to come back from. If you've lost that, you're you're on your way out. I respect the attempt at hanging in, though. Is he even going to try, or is he just going to... No, he's going to try again. He blitzes! Oh my god, that was a good blitz. And now what? Comes off cap? It's only 90 or so here. <clears throat> he's coming off here. Cool. How much? Because here's the, here's the thing. It's not going to work. 90? <laughs> I will take the Ukraine plus two, actually. Actually, I should make it big enough that... I, like, I don't have to stack the capitals. My capitals are fine, so I should actually just leave this as a big stack. Is it 26? Stack this. I don't have to 0% slider blitz. I can 100% slider blitz and get a god roll, lose 69. 66? That's better than I even thought of. Okay, and he still blocks. And now he's just missed three cards. Like, this is the third card he's going to miss. Right, so at the end of this turn, I'm going to get a third card. So even if he fortifies in a way that gives him a card, like this 387 up here would give him a card. But even if he does that, I'm going to have a third card. And if I get a trade... <laughs> what the hell are these reeds, bro? These are some reeds. Holy moly. So I can actually maybe kill this cap into this? That'd be fun, actually. <clears throat> I could almost kill him right now, maybe. Hmm. Let me see, actually. This could be a moment. 106, huh? So if I lose 100 on that, I could 100% slide or that, but I'm not going to. We're going to do this. He has no trade. Actually. three thirty one. That's fine. Now what do I want to do? Probably wants to slam the the uh, this, right? So I'll back that off. <clears throat> so I have three cards. And he's going to get a fourth card. He has no trade on three, though. So he gets a fourth card. I get a fourth card. And if he trades on four, I trade on four. Like, we're still in the same cycle because I made him miss a whole cycle. Which is a whole 260 troops. On top of getting attacker's advantage on a lot of his stuff. Now he might be Ramdingles the board. Is he going to try to card block me? Because I've got cards for days. Yeah, he's going to do some weird split. And the more troops he leaves off capital, the more I'm just going to hit him with off cap stacks. He's going to bring a bunch back now. That's fine. Fifty-fifty. Look at this. It's making me take other cards. Hmm... It's fine. I can wait. Let's do what? Let's leave this as a 100. It's going to trade, right? So I don't have to do it this turn. I want it to be bit just over what a trade is, right? Like, just over half what a trade is. So it's 260. So yeah, if he trades and tries to hit this, it's not 100%. I want a non-100% blitz roll on, on my uh, capital if he goes for it. I want to bait him into hitting it, too. Like, he's got, what, 450 troops and he traded for 260. So he's at, like, 710 plus whatever's on here. There's 150 here. Maybe not even. Like, this might even just be takeable. I could come out with the 5 and check. Oh, now he's going to break the 5. He's going to kill it. He's going to hit the 18. Do I have a trade? I do have the trade on 4, so I can reset up. <clears throat> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you're going to feel it. Keep going. No? He's trying to guarantee himself some cards, huh? Okay, so I can just roll all his off-cap troops and laugh at him? I think that's fine. Hmm. 
What do I want here? Like 140, just to make sure. And uh, kill a 74, I want an 81. And then what? Stack this capital to get ready. Get ready for the Ram Dingle on the right side, because he's probably pretty weak over there. Slider Blitz, get some good dice. Yep, plus 20. Plus 7. Plus 9. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So he's got. we can see all of his troops. What is that? 600? Just under 600? That's his whole everything. Just under 600 to my 1133. Good game. I can't afford to hit this and then literally card block him in here. Yeah, what do you got? He's thinking. He thinks a lot, right? So I, I know he's still here or very high chance he hasn't left yet. It's going to make me work for it. That's such a pain. I really would love to get 40-minute games of this, these settings, right? And I have just recently. Oh, my God. Everybody wants every single piece of rating point. Like, I played very aggro, too. The yellow kill. Oh, my God. It cost me everything. He actually had the win. Remember, this guy had the win. He should have just taken the win when he had it, you know? Oh, no. I have to take a card somewhere else. Splits off 55. So if he keeps doing this, I'm going to have a very easy time. Uh, destroying him. So he's got three cards. I got three cards. I have a trade on three again. I would like, I can actually put like 300 troops in his face. And if he hits the 300 stack and loses 250, that's still good for me. I have like so many more troops than him. I have like so many, like a high school chick. I have like, seriously? More troops than him. What is he thinking? I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. I wish he wasn't so slow to think, but I think he's learning. Whoever I'm playing against is learning right now, and they probably think they're getting beat by a chick. Why is Minty Fresh giving it to me rough style? I don't like being pegged. Okay. Hurry up. Come on. They're, they're, and, and I understand. I don't want... The, I want them to figure this out, so it's a learning experience. Everybody's been beat like this before. Cool, that's it. I will just hit the eight stack and chill. Get a good slider dice on the eight. Nope. I'll just hit this too, because I don't care. I don't care. I will slaughter you. Bring it on. It's tempting to take the 244 out, right? But I don't care. This side I can card block fine enough. Ninety percent of this game now is his turn waiting and thinking. I know exactly how to win this. <clears throat> okay, early trade exactly what I want. Even had a plus two on Central America. I watched it go up by two. Oh daddy's gonna do the breaky break. Good, because I'm gonna make you feel the pain. You are going to suffer. Mm hmm. Oh, he's trying to card block me. Cool. That's a lot of half cap troops for me. Thanks. Thanks, bro. I mean, is he trying to block the 29? Because if you hit the 29, my 488 can just go back up. That's easy. Oh, this is fun. Mm hmm. Oh, thanks. <laughs> like, a lot of the time you're not going to... Uh, Brazil is obviously the best. Plus two. I know Congo and Madagascar, but they're buried. They're not useful troops right now. Uh, a lot of you are like, what the hell? You shouldn't be smacking all these troops. I have guaranteed cards in here. And this is just free. This is just free. I, I can make him absolutely cry at this point. Yep. Oh, look at that. Exactly the number required. And, uh, perfect dice. 78 on 79 is not good. What about this roll? Trading troops with him is perfect, even if I go even. Plus 20. Plus 14. Perfect. 
Okay. Ninety-three on. Go on, hit the ninety-three, doggy. You want to hit that ninety-three with the two forty? Do you want to hit anything? He has in total five hundred and fifty troops. I have double that, more. So I want him to hit the ninety-three. I want you to try. No, he's not. He's splitting another fifty-fiver. Okay, bro. Okie dokie. Go on, roll me. Roll me. Wild card. If he trades now, I get to ram dingle him again. We will continue the ram dingling. And the more he brings off this cap, the more I'm just going to take it in a second. Your position is dwindling. All resources have run out. Must construct additional pylons. Come on. I'm going crazy. This is what happens. You get almost two hours into a game. This is what happens to me. This is why my second channel is great to just be able to put these games on. And if, and if you're feeling a couple hour video, great. And if you're not feeling it, it's not a big deal to miss it. Good. He loses 70 to my 90. If we do that over and over again, I'm happy. Back to cap with that. I'll just hit the 55. I'm fine with it. Oh, you're going to leave a 55 again? Thanks. I will just trade and keep ram dingling. You think I'm done with the ram? Oh, it's 100. Cool. Let's go. More. 86 on it. Let's go. Mm, nice. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine for you, friend. <laughs> uh, good game. I'm going to wish them a good game, though. They're trying. Yeah, they're coming up with a 359 now, which is perfectly fine. Like, I have more troops on this one cap than all of their troops combined. Almost. Right? Like, they have 617 I could just count, and I have 577, but, like... Is that your new card? Oh my god. I love you. That's fine. Uh, let me see. Perfectly fine with this. You got me, sir. You got me. Actually, maybe I should have went 25-25 here to make him hit this 3. Force him to hit this 3 or one of these stacks. I could actually leave this cap very weak. Pull 200 off or something. It's not a big deal. What are you doing? He's trying! You're trying, I'm crying, bro. I'm already... I'm, I'm checked out. I'm ready to go for lunch. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna go for lunch. It's a Sunday. I'm going to do like a random stream, maybe surprise people with a stream. Oh, there we go. Wants to guarantee them cards. Cool. There you go. You're open again. Now what do I want to do? I don't need to pull anything off, right? Maybe I'll do this. That's fine. If he comes over with the 54, he opens that and goes, oh crap. And then he has to attack up to fortify. I have no trade. He's trading on three now. Cool. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Oh, he's going to take Australia. That's great. If you sit here with a stack, I'm coming through. It's fine. Oh, interesting position, I say. Oh, 54 and everything back to here? 
Oh, that's so rude of you. Wants to guarantee himself some cards, huh? That's fine. I don't have the trade on three this time. Hmm. Okay. Is that a trade? Okay, I got the trade now. Good. Good. He'll be on two cards. I will set him up into a bad spot again. Oh, there we go. Nice. He's splitting again? Oh my god, doggy, you're gonna keep... The troop trading is just... I'm getting the benefit of all this. Here we go with a 69. Um, and then what? He doesn't have a trade, right? Zero percent slider. Good. I don't like that. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Bring the twenty-seven up. I want to bring the one. I wish this was more than a fourteen. Unfortunately, I'm trying to. Like he can't hit the two thirty-eight, and if he does, that's good for him. <laughs> that's good for me. Go ahead. He gets how many troops? Seven. Actually, good. He can't. Seven's enough. For me to not care. The 14 is enough. I mean, <clears throat> he has to hit the 49s and the 69s now. I have 1,500 troops. He has 680. He's under 700. Even if you count his stragglers. There we go. Perfect. I'll reset that up. You're leaving a 19. Okay, I didn't think so. Does he have a trade on three? I don't know. Yeah. I want him to hit as much as possible. Like, I, if he trades on three... And he hits this 238, and he only loses 160. That's still good for me. I am so far ahead. Even if he gets god rolls on my stuff, trading troops is good for me. Locker dog with the trade on three. But also, if he hits this 238, yeah, exactly. If he hits it, it closes off his cap again. But if he doesn't hit it and leaves troops off cap... I will hit every single troop off cap again. Again and again and again. He's, he's trying... Oh, he's slider blitz that down. Interesting. He's going to hit this too? Okay. That, good. That's great. He slider blitzed it though. And <laughs> Okay. So I have to take another card in a place I don't want. Beautiful. Okay. Goodness. I, I, he's trying to like reverse card block me. I, I respect it. But Jesus, man. You will not. Now I had to close off my cap for that. But that's fine. You will not succeed. Watch. 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 The walls come crumbling down for him in a moment. How is he going to make another 50 stack? How many 50 stacks you got in you, bro? <laughs> How many? Oh, what's this? 330? 750 troops? I'm 500 up. I'm about to trade. I'm 500 up and I haven't traded yet. Watch this trade. Watch what happens to Doggio over here. He lost 15 on the 11. That's not a positive roll. So 202, if he splits a 50, that's a big time mistake. That's a daddy-o mistake, because I've been keeping an eye on something. The reach around back door dingle. 
Oh. Ah. Oops. Now reach around back door dingle. Hello. Oh, you think I'm done? I want to trade some troops with you. I also do need to ensure I've got some cards, so I won't go any crazier than that. I think that's fine. Wait, what are the trades? He doesn't have a trade, so that's fine. Let's put it here for now. Uh, the next move is to bring like 400 troops off this cap. Once I'm strong enough that he can't do a, a trade cap run, I will bring like 400 off and put it in his face and then just kill him. Wow, you got me. What are you going to do with these? I mean, I'm getting so many troops a turn. Every, the amount of troops he has to pull off cap to like, like, how are you going to block me from getting a card, bro? Nice slider. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I respect it. Like, he's he's learning, he's figuring it out. But come on, man, you're dead. You're dead! I'm going to show you right now why you're dead. Oh, no, I can't get through. Oh, no. Should be fine. I can leave the 52. He has a trade on three. If he has a trade on three, can he cap run? With uh 570, hits a 200, a 166, and a 151. 570? 200 loses 200, it'd be a, a, a 370 hits this. No, he can't. Even, even if he gets God everything, it's just not going to. So we'll just end him now. I'll leave it a little bit more than a, a 200, just in case. Just in case he gets, like, super lucky or something, right? I'll leave it at 240. 369. Yeah, that should be fine. Even if he trades, comes through the 37 and gets absolute god dice and does the cap run. Good luck! Now... I got nothing... Nothing going on in this game. It's that interesting. Do I have a trade? No. Okay. It's okay. I had trades on three early. He's getting trades on three now. It's all good. Oh, he's going to slide to the 369? He's going to try it. If that works, it would be hilarious. I mean, he has to slide to the 369 in a way that doesn't give him... Doesn't give me a card? Ooh. Nope. Oh, he's coming off. He doesn't know which way to fortify. He's going to run out of time. Okay, I got to end the game. The piano's going off upstairs now. Hmm. What's the play here? I, I, I'm getting annoyed with this man and his card blocking attempts. I'm getting annoyed at them. What if I do not get a trade? That's the easiest solution for that. Look at that. He only gets uh, five troops, right? No trade on four. Are you serial? <laughs> he doesn't have enough to zero this out and block this card, so I got a card guaranteed over here. I like it. I feel like we're watching the development of this player. Right? This is the player that abandoned the China cap to take Australia at the start of the game. And sit here and gave his cap away. God, this game's so long. That was this game? Jesus. What are you doing over here with your 69? Just blitzing it? Oh, you... Okay. Okay.
He doesn't have a cap run, right? He doesn't have a trade, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's going to come out here. Okay, with not enough troops for a cap run. I should do what? He opens me if I do this, right? And I have a trade on five, so this should just be it. I... He's trying very hard, so I actually have to be a little precise just to... Like, if he reverse card blocks me, I miss a card, and it, it, I don't lose off of it, but it just takes a little longer. It's, it's a bit annoying, but... Uh... That is how it is. Interesting. I also have to be concerned if he has a trade on three and does go for it, right? That's something to be worried about. Just to make it a little awkward if he does. Five caps, he's got to hit. You know what? If you have a trade on three and you go for it, I'll have at her, bro. Have at her. And now I'm guaranteeing my my cards down here. All right, 695. He's got to kill. <laughs> no way. Oh, he does it. He rolls the stack. Trade on three rolls the stack. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. He's making me suffer. That's funny. Zero. Let's get some dice. He did it. He actually got me. Uh, his trades on three, bro. If I get a couple good manuals, I will blitz whatever's left and try to get a card. And if I don't, it's fine. Because I have a fortify that I want to do, which is fine. I need a couple good manuals in a row to get above zero percent. Okay, I got a better idea. No, that's not enough. That's fine. His card situation is not great, though, so... We'll do that. He dies if he tries to do anything here, though. <laughs> I have enough troops to trade out with him, even if it's bad trades, that it's fine. Come on, this is all you've got. Come on. <laughs> I would have liked to bring all these other troops over, but like just on the off chance he took that 680 and went for a run and got a god roll on the on, on something. He's going for there, okay. Do I have a trade on four? I do. Okay. The trades are what? 320. Okay, I can just kill him now. Jesus. <laughs> we can just end him now. Good game. Holy moly, Donut Chop. Go for the cap run, doggy. It's your only chance. Oh, didn't work. Oh, man. Whew, it's toughy. I'm getting the world on victory on this boy. You're going to split off 70? He is not giving up. I just recorded a video where I, I reverse card block somebody. I haven't even released that yet, so it's not even like he watched it. What are you doing? He's slight. Oh my god. Okay. Okie doke. You've been dead for an hour, dude. No, maybe not. You had the win an hour ago, I think, but whatever. I'm making sure to get the world down. Good game. Paste it. 
We got him! Oh my god, he made me, like, take forever. I just, I had to... It could have been faster if I was greedy and didn't protect my capitals, but then there's a chance he backdoors with, like, god cap dice and takes the win. And I have done that before to other people, so I don't want to feel that. Yellow was a grandmaster. Purple was a master. Black was an expert. And then green and blue, novice and beginner. So great, great bunch of skill levels there in the end. Very frustrating player to play against. Uh, what was it, purple at the end there? Because he was trying to farm black super hard, but did it incorrectly. He had the win, missed it, and then... Uh, Drag the game out for an hour. So if somehow you guys watched to the end of this two-hour video. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And if you want more today, or if your TV is just auto-playing me for two hours straight and it's going to continue, it, it it's just going to continue. I'll see you all in the next one.